And when you open the bag, it is so spacious. <laughs> In today's video I'm sharing with you what's in my beauty bag is definitely an upgrade to my previous beauty bags that I've been using and while they did serve the purpose I just wanted to upgrade and get something a little bit more chic and classy you probably would have seen this coach um, beauty bag in a haul that I did about a month ago so if you have it you can check that out but I'll go into a little bit of review for you guys the top part of it is made from leather the zipper lining is made with gold hardware and I absolutely love gold hardware then we have the coach logo that's also in gold hardware this material here is nylon it doesn't have that many products in here right now but for instance if I was traveling it can definitely hold a lot and for sure I could probably do um, a what's in my bag when I'm traveling but for now this video is mainly what I use on a daily basis or weekly basis that I keep in this beauty bag and like I said it is so classy and chic Definitely, I am loving how it looks on my vanity or my dresser, my bookshelf, wherever you want to put this, it's going to look really nice. And this is just a glimpse inside of the bag. And I'm going to go through each product with you just to show you guys what I use, what I've been loving. Some of these products I've been using for years and I just keep repurchasing over and over. And some of these products are new or I've been using them for a little over a month and I'm absolutely loving them. But if there's any con to any of these products, I will definitely let you know. In this beauty bag, it has a little um, pocket back here, which is really convenient because I can reach in and just grab the smaller products that usually get lost in the bottom of the bag. So I kind of use this part for that type of storage. So that's what I'm going to start out with. So the first product is a color corrector. And the way I use this is really simple. I use this before I use a concealer. And if I want to make sure that I don't end up using a lot of foundation, I go in with this first and just apply this to all the spots on my face or anything that I want to cover up. And that's kind of how I use this. It comes out as kind of like orange. So I definitely don't use too much because it can get like really thick. And so a light application works best for this product. But it really helps to cover up all my dark spots. Amazing. I just love this product. And I got this from my local beauty supply store. So if I can find something like this, I will link it and I will definitely link all the products that I'm talking about in this video in the description box below. Next up in no order is this beautiful coral lip stain from Sephora and this is also the Sephora brand. I picked this up in the summer and it's mainly a summer color. However, I do have it on today. So I usually love wearing nude lipsticks the most for my daily like makeup routine but today I wanted something extra or whenever I do want something extra what I do is I put this lip stain on my lip in the middle of my lips then I get the nude lipstick and just put the nude lipstick all over my lips and that's kind of how I use this um, in the even in the summertime it is way too bold and bright for me but like I said I like using it lightly just for a little pop of color and I also apply this on my cheekbones as well like I said it's a beautiful coral color and I am loving this next up I have this beautiful lipstick from Charlotte Tilbury and Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks makeup in general I would definitely say it's on the higher price point but they are definitely worth it I mean, look at this packaging. Look at this. I don't know if you, I'm going to show you guys a close up of this, but it basically has rhyme, rhinestones in the package. So technically, if you want to keep this after, which I will, as a nice collection, I mean, it's so cute and it's so pretty. And I love this rose gold color. And this is what I have on my lips now. But keep in mind 
like I said, I do have a little bit of the coral lip stain from Sephora that I have on as well. So you're not seeing the true color of this, but I usually wear this by itself in my videos all the time. And I am loving this beautiful lipstick. It is a new color and let me tell you exactly what it is. And the shade is called Nude Romance and it is so chic, it's so beautiful. I'm just loving the way this nude lipstick looks on my skin tone, but for sure this will go really well on most if not all skin tones. Okay, so this is the last products that's inside this little pocket area. So we have the Chanel mascara and the Chanel primer. And I did actually talk about this in my last video that I did what's in my bag, the Marc Jacobs bag. I will link that in the cards and in the description box below so you can check it out. But I did mention that I am actually gonna get this in the larger size because it is absolutely lovely. I love how it extends my lashes. It makes it more full. I'm just loving it. And the primer definitely helps with that. Um, making my um, eyelashes really full. This is how the primer looks. It's all white So it goes on the eyelashes white and then I Apply the mascara over that and it's absolutely beautiful I just love it and Chanel is definitely on the top of my list when it comes to mascara I've used a few other mascaras like Lancome. I love that one and L'Oreal Paris for sure but this is my first time trying it. I've been using this probably for about two months now and it's, I'm, it's still pretty full, which is really good. But I'm looking forward to getting the larger size, like I mentioned, because it works beautifully and I just love how it makes my lashes look. And my next product is sunscreen. Now, I use sunscreen literally every day unless for some reason I'm like sick in bed and not going anywhere, then I don't need sunscreen. And it's also good to give your skin a break from sunscreen. However, this is the Super Goop sunscreen and this is the Glow Screen. Now, this is the SPF 40 and while I do love this, when I did first pick it up, I didn't really like the fact that the tint wasn't really matching my skin tone. But because it blends really well into the skin, I was able to get away with it. But now that my tan is basically going away or almost gone, this blends in really well and I can't even tell that there is a tint anymore. But it is a golden hour that almost fell. And this is just how it looks. So right now it matches me pretty well. But like I said, in the summertime it was a little bit too light. But I still used it. And they do have another one that I used to use before I picked this one up. This, it was like a clear one. I don't even remember. Oh, glow. I think it's called Unseen. Yes. So that's the Super Goop Unseen. And that one is amazing as well. I'm probably going to pick that one up once this one is done. I am actually loving the way this sunscreen works. I think that it does really well in protecting my skin from the sun. And on top of that, the glow that it gives me is really nice without the shininess or without the greasy looking and I'm just loving the way this sunscreen works. I mean, there's not much else to say, but it works really well under my makeup, really well under my skincare. And if I don't wear makeup, I know at least this one gives me a little bit of a tint, a color, and it looks really nice. Next up is my Estee Lauder foundation. And I, this is a double wear one, and I'm loving this foundation. It stays in place, which it says, which it is true. It does not move, and it literally will last all day. And I just love the sleek packaging as well. And the shade that I use in this Estee Lauder double wear is Maple 5N 1.5. I love the texture of this foundation. I love that it's buildable. When I apply it to my skin, I don't have to put a lot for me to feel like, okay, I need a lot of coverage. One layer or two layers is definitely enough to have full coverage with this foundation and that's why I like it because I love using a full coverage foundation but I also like one that's buildable and this is two in one, full coverage and buildable. I love how it's creamy and it's not thick. So because it's creamy, it's really easy to spread easily on my face while I apply it. And I love that it has like just a neutral smell. It just smells like foundation, but it doesn't smell really strong. 
And Estee Lauder products, especially their skincare and their um, foundation, has high quality ingredients. It is the price point, it is a bit more expensive, but it's definitely worth it because I don't get any breakout from these products or from Estee Lauder foundation. And I just love that it lasts as long on my skin. And I'm really loving this foundation. I also forgot to mention that I am wearing this foundation right now and the other products that I shared so far, I am wearing those products right now as well. And if I'm not wearing a product, I will mention it. But for the most part, this beauty bag, like I mentioned, definitely keeps my daily makeup products and a few little skincare stuff as well. Okay, next I have this Fenty Beauty um found not foundation fenty beauty eyeshadow i love that this eyeshadow has all the neutral colors that i can wear during the daytime on the daily basis and also if i wanted to get dressed up or i'm going to an event or a function or anything fancy it definitely i can definitely use this eyeshadow palette as well so it's very versatile so i actually have this on right now this one as you can see is Probably my favorite because it's hitting the pan already and the middle is almost done. And this one, um, this shade is Avocado, I believe. Avocado, yes. This shade is uh, um, Simmer Down and this shade is Nookie Rookie. Okay, that's cute. <laughs> um, no, actually, this shade is Velvet Cuff and this shade is Nookie Rookie. So I apply this to the a base of my eye so I apply this first and then afogado I apply that over that and then over that I apply this one which is nookie rookie and then in my crease I have this simmer down and I also contour with this as well and sometimes I put this which I have this one today come get it so I have this one in the corners of my eyes for the most part, I'm using almost every shade in this palette today. I love it. It's very versatile and I use it all the time. I love that it's very pigmented, especially this one. So I can swatch it here. You guys can see, look at that. Wow, amazing, love that. And then this one here really beautiful and then this is the uh, kind of like a neutral white base kind of color and then this one here put it like that so you can see and then I have this one beautiful wish was this one here so this one here I'm gonna swatch that as well and I'm gonna put it back here. Okay, so that is how it looks. Really pigmented, really nice, loving the colors. And like I said, my go-to eyeshadow palette, love that. Let me go and wipe my fingers off before I get it everywhere. Next, I have this True Match from L'Oreal. And this is probably my all-time go-to favorite drugstore foundation slash powder foundations in the summertime i purchased this but before the summertime it's been a very long time years and i decided that i'm just gonna go and pick this up so i remembered how good it was basically so this is how it looks it's hitting pan as well i use it pretty often now that the summertime is gone, my tan is going away, I don't use it all over my face anymore. I just kind of use it more of a bronzer and just to highlight my cheekbones and around my forehead and under like the shape to shape my jawline. I have this on today and this is the classic tan in N7. This is the L'Oreal True Match and it's a blendable powder. Love it. You can find this at any drugstore, CVS, Walgreens, Dwayne Reed. If this is not in my beauty bag, it's in the refrigerator. Yeah, I put this in the refrigerator. I take it out in the mornings, not all the time, but sometimes when I do that, I just slide it over my eyes, 
over my eyes and under my eyes and it just pops give my eye that bright look wakes me up and on top of that it's cold so you're just gonna automatically wake up and i usually do that after i wash my face sometimes before i put on my skincare or after this is a jade roller if i didn't say that so it basically helps to lift the face lift the skin and also helps to bring blood circulation to the skin as well and it's really good for lymphatic drainage and you can use it on your neck and everything like that to help reduce fine lines and wrinkles i really love this okay next up is my nars um concealer and this is my tried and true go-to been using for years and probably will not stop until i find something better i've tried many um you know some come close but this is still the best the best way to use this concealer in my opinion is before i put on my foundation that's how i use it which helps me not to use too much foundation so i will use this and cover up whatever blemishes i have so this is the caramel shade and i just love it this one is my go-to this is the shade that i usually get and it's buildable it covers really well this is definitely my favorite concealer to use hands down i honestly don't do much to my eyebrows i am just one of those people that i might tweeze it a little around here maybe once a year i probably go get my eyebrows done maybe not even that it's it's something that i just don't really put much time in and i think one of the reasons why is because my eyebrows doesn't really grow above or below it kind of just stays in this spot maybe once in a while i have like a little extra here somewhere here but it doesn't grow all over the place it kind of just stays like that so me just brushing it and probably using a mascara brush that's what i usually do to just brush it in and kind of make it a little look a little bit darker that's basically what i do but this brush makes my eyebrows look perfect whenever i brush it up with this i just love it let me know in the comment section below if you use any of these products and how are you getting along with these products and i will definitely link this so you can go ahead and check it out thank you guys so much for tuning in again. I will see you guys soon in my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching.